Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a reflection mask. We're going to take a look at how you can create everything from within After Effects without the use of any plugin and without importing any stock image as HDRL to use to create reflections like this. So support me on this one, like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Inside After Effects, I'm going to start with a simple basic composition like this. Feel free to use your own setting and this is just a simple white text. So first, we're going to create the HDR image. So what we're going to do now is to create a new composition. Control N on your keyboard to create a new composition. We're going to make this composition 500 pixel by 500 pixel. Leave every other setting the way it is and then hit OK. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. Then make comp size and then hit OK. So we're going to add a gradient ramp to this. Select the white color right here and change it to somewhat gray. A very dark gray something like this is okay then you hit okay so what we're gonna do now is to hit Y on the keyboard to activate the anchor tool or you can simply go up here to click and activate it then we're gonna move the anchor point to the top right here perfect then hit V to drop the anchor tool Control R to reveal your ruler we're gonna carry this ruler to the center right here you will know why soon so what we're gonna do now is to hold this knob right here and scale it down to this point so we're gonna simply ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate this so what i'm gonna do now is to simply move this down then i'll select this and also move it up like this then i'll just move this down completely let's fit this to our preview window currently this is what you have make sure this thing aligns correctly so now let's pick the shape tool right here feel free to pick any of this shape tool but i'll pick the rectangle tool right here and draw a big shape right here make sure no layer is selected while doing that i'll still pick the shape tool and draw another small one we're gonna add a Gaussian blur to this very particular layer. Increase the blur amount to 50. Beautiful. Now let's go back to this and pick the ellipse tool. Let's pull back a bit. We're gonna draw a simple round shape right here. Let's move the anchor point to the center. Select the layer and move it right to the edge of the composition right here somewhere here. We're going to copy the Gaussian blur we have on this layer. Ctrl C on the keyboard, then select the new ellipse tool and Ctrl V. So, but we're going to change the blur amount to 100. Hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. We're going to reduce this opacity to about 70. This is OK. So, Ctrl D on your keyboard and arrange it to the edges of the composition like this. Feed this to comp and this is okay. So let's go back to our main composition. We just created the HDRI image without really going to the internet to download any. Feel free to play around with what you want to see. So go back to the main composition, then switch this panel to the project manager window and drag the HDRI image you just created into your composition. First of all, we're going to hide the text layer. So what we're going to do now is to select this HDRI we created and then add a motion tile effect. Let's change some of these parameters. We're going to change the tile width, tile height and output width and output height. So we're going to change all to 1000 each. Mirror edge pixel. We can see some spacing right here. So we're going to go into this HDRI image and make that fix. So let's go back in there. So currently we may not be able to see where that space is coming up to see where that space is coming out from. So we'll go to composition setting and change the color to a contrasting color so that we can see where that is happening. 
then you hit ok now you can see it is happening right here at the bottom so what you need to do is to select the corresponding layer then just use the arrow key and move it downward so now if you go back to the main composition you see that gap is gone so what we're going to do now is to hit R on the keyboard. We're going to rotate this a bit, just tilt it a little like this. Then with your time indicator at zero second, create a keyframe for the tile center. Then you pick the tiling and then move it somewhere here. Move your time indicator to the end of your timeline and then select the tile center and move it somewhere like this that will cause this to move from left to right if you preview beautiful this is what we want so let's fit this to our preview window so what we're going to do is select the hgrl image ctrl shift c and pre-compose it move all attributes to the new composition and name this reflection hide our text layer also pre-compose the text layer name that text and then hit ok select this reflection map and put it right above the text layer select the reflection layer and set the track mat to alpha mat this is gonna give you this so add a cc bob lies let's change the bob layer to the text layer change the softness to 15 and set the cut areas to 50 now let's add one more effect at the cc glass effect we're gonna expand this and change the bump map to the text layer set this softness to 18 and set height to 5 and then set this displacement to 8 the whole idea of this is to show you that you can create your reflection right from inside after effect without the use of any uh, third party plugin or even bringing an HDRI image into after effect and this is what we currently have so but we're going to do one more thing to bring this out so if you switch this panel to the project manager window i'm gonna select this on the project manager window ctrl d on my keyboard to duplicate the text layer so i'm gonna go into this text too what i'm gonna do now is to select the text and remove the color i'll set select the color right here and make sure i set it to none leaving only a stroke layer so that is i just wanted to set this to stroke so you feel free to set yours then go back to the main composition drag and drop this into on top of the text layer right here and it's going to give it a nice finishing so and this is all you need for this tutorial so you can just go if to change the color right here you can use the curve effect to change the color so we might cover that in a future tutorial but this is how you can create a reflection map right inside After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with. Even if you share the video. That is also a huge support. And it is highly appreciated. If you like the video. Leaving a comment is all a support. So with whatever way you are able to support me. I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one. My name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.